Hey there, Kevin here at Tavco, and today we are going to go over how to use the search tool to search for information in construction plans and other PDF files using Bluebeam Review software. So I'm in the application now. I have two files opened up, and uh, it's, it's set up kind of like a, a, a tab format, kind of like a web browser, so I can toggle between these two files. Now there's two methods to using this search tool. One is text search. And the other is called visual search, where we can actually look for objects within the file. So we're going to start off with text search, and I'm looking at this uh, building codes document. So I want to look for, you know, particular character strings. So what I want to do is go into the search tool, and if you can see this on the left-hand side, uh, it looks like a magnifying glass. If I click that, it's going to open up the window. Now, if you don't see this in your software, if you right-click over this bar, you can show menu and you can toggle things on and off here. Um, but we've already opened up the uh, tool. Um, so we have two icons at the top. So we have text and then visual here. So I'm going to select text. And I don't know, let's look for something to look, uh, search for here. How about this acronym CNEL? So we want to go through this five page document. We want to look for this CNEL character string. So we're just going to type that in. I'm going to hit search. It's going to go through the document, and it is going to pick up all of the instances that it found. Now, you can go through each of these, and you'll see where it's highlighted on the sheet. Um, and then we can select these if we want to apply changes, uh, which I'll show you in a second for these. But in this case, we just want to select all of them. So if you click this box here, you're going to select all of the search results. Uh, now, with that selected, we can uh, check the options uh, icon here, um, and then we can highlight these. Um, if you have Bluebeam Extreme with the batch functionality, we can actually redact this information where it actually, you know, puts the black mark but destroys all of the, the data underneath so you can't search the document. Um, so, you know, several things you can do here. Um, and we've done that very quickly and we can go through the document and we can see that every instance of, of that text stream has been uh, selected. So the next thing we want to do is we want to switch over and use visual search. So I've, I've gone over to our drawing and, you know, here's the scenario. So, you know, I've been given this sheet. I'm going to, you know, zoom in. Obviously, this is a, a drawing of a hotel. There's a bunch of rooms here. You can see, you know, all, all of the different bathrooms. And say that I've been tasked with getting a count of the different sinks that are in the room. So we can certainly go through using the count tool and we can, you know, zoom in and we can count all these by hand. But if this was a, a really large file and we certainly want to minimize the time that we're going to be working on this, we can use the search tool and we can use the other command called visual search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and then you can... Uh, get a rectangle. So we're actually going to draw a rectangle around the object that we're searching for here. Uh, now just one quick sidebar. I've kind of done this in advance, but something I want to show you. Uh, if you go under view, uh, one of the things I have enabled here is this disable line weights. And the reason being is because the line weights within this document are, are very thick and it kind of throws things off sometimes. So if you're zooming in on a particular uh, area on a, on a plan and uh, your, your line weights are really heavy. If you just go under view and go to this command here to say the line weights, you're going to get this view here. Uh, and this will be helpful in this uh, search command. So uh, we're going to pick the sink. We're going to draw a rectangle around this sink here. Okay. Now that we've done that, you're going to see a, a thumbnail icon that's going to show up in the preview panel and then we're going to select search. So what this is going to do now is it's actually going through the entire sheet and it's going to do a pixel by pixel analysis, being able to look at all these uh, different results. And you can see the status of that on the lower left hand side of the screen here. So we're just about there. A few more seconds. Um, and then you're going to see the results populate on the left hand side in this panel. So now you can see all the results in the panel. Take a quick scroll down and notice that even if you have uh, other objects in the way, the, the software is intelligent enough 
to be able to distinguish the differences. Uh, but this all looks good. It looks like all of these things were captured. So the same thing as before, we can, we can uh, cherry pick these as we go through or we can simply select all. So we will select all in this case and again, go back to the options tab. Uh, we can do the same thing that we did uh, before. We can uh, highlight all of these so they're easy to identify on the sheet. But another thing you can do with this visual search is be able to apply a count measure. And this is where this is really handy if you're having to get a count uh, on a plan, um, especially if you're going to apply a financial value to that. Um, so we're just going to, we, we have some custom tools here, but I'm just going to use these simple check marks. And so now, if we zoom out, you can see that all of these sinks have been picked and they've all been checked and they're all highlighted. So we can easily see that. Now the benefit to this is if I go into the markups list, which is like a, an Excel record of the metadata within this PDF file, um, I can, you know, a quick way to jump to that is just click on the markup itself um, and you can get down to where it's highlighted in the in the markups list and this is showing the count measurement and it's showing that it found 36 items so hopefully that helps out two ways to uh, search pdf documents text search and visual search with the search tool within bluebeam if you have questions certainly let us know we'd appreciate it if you can su uh, subscribe to the channel or let us know how else we can help you all right thank you for watching take care bye bye